the array filter method creates a new array by removing all the elements for which the callback function returns a false value. Consider it as a test on the items of an array. If the item from the array turns true for a callback, then we keep it, otherwise we remove it. Well, actually, it will create a new array and we won't modify the original array. Let's see how that looks in code. We have here a numbers array with numbers from 1 to 6 and let's say we want to create an array with only the even numbers from this array. So for that, let's create even and we're going to call the filter function on the numbers which needs a callback function. This function will get a value, an index and the array on which is called upon. I'm going to write this function here is even. We're going to get the value and also the index and the array, but we don't need it in this case. This will go as a callback function here. And we're going to return uh, the value modulus 2 equals to 0. Now, if the remainder of the division of the value with 2 is 0, that means we have an even number. Let's console.log even and see what we get. We get an array of 2, 4 and 6, which is perfect. That's what we want. Another example could be if we have an array of objects uh, representing different persons having a name and an age and we want to see if the person is an adult. So it has uh, the age bigger or equal to 18. So let's see how we can do that. I'm going to paste in the array of objects and then we can continue. All right, we have here the array. We get the name, the age, the name, the age, the name, the age. And we want to remove the ones that are under 18. So for that, let's create an adult array, uh, which will be people.filter. And let's write this time uh, the callback function as an arrow function here. So we get the person person that age greater than equals 18 and now let's console.log adults and you can see that we only have two remaining Florin and Ivan because they are at least 18 years old another use case for the filter method is to remove all the duplicates from an array this is more of a fun exercise uh, it's not that used in practice because we have better options. But it's good to understand how the filter function works. So let's create an array of numbers again. We're going to have 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 3, 3, 4, 5, whatever, 6. Okay, something like that. And we want to remove all the duplicates from this array. Let's say const nums or something like that. And we're going to call the filter function here on the numbers. Uh, and this time we're going to need all the three parameters. So the value, the index, and the array. Let's call it array like that. And we're going to return something interesting. Return array that index of value is equal to index. Let's console.log the nums and see if it works. All right, look at that. So we have an array of all the numbers and removed all the duplicates. But how does this work? Well, let's look at the function. Here with the array, we get the initial array on which this filter method is called upon. And we're checking if the index of the value is equal to the index provided. So let's say, for example, here, the one goes here and it will return a zero as the index right because it's the first index here we're going to check if uh, that is equal to zero which is the index so that's true the same for two the same for three but now when we're checking the index of value two because the index of method returns the first occurrence of a value inside of an array it will return the index of these two so then this will return false because the index 1 is not equals with index 3 from here and then we're going to not push it inside the nums array here. 